Okay, hello guys. Um, this is going to be the second documentation of my overlay project for Mobile Legends Bang Bang streaming. Of course, this is for tournament use, if you're going to use this in tournaments. Private tournaments, I mean, not in uh, Moontown private tournaments where there is tournament mode, five bands. I'm not working on five bands yet. So far, we're just working on three bands and not five bands, which you can see um, right here. There's going to be three bands for blue, three bands for red. And so far, it's like this. It's not really, how to say? Mm, it's not really complete yet. There is still some implementations that I wish to do. <coughs> and those implementations are right over here. So what we have done already is that we have added entry animations, pulse effects, <laughs> add a control panel, which you can see right here. Add a countdown system from our old prototype. Implement a box design from our prototype um, in the first video and now we have added exit animations them the swap of the uh, the swap the roles team name change sponsor name implementation this is just um, edited in code so far i haven't added a text box like this for it yet and add edit feature which is edit boxes okay so we'll just run through it how it should actually work on the caster side and just imagine that these guys are uh that these guys are your casters all right so of course um once you load in you'll be greeted with your casters and then your caster will say oh we're gonna head into the draft soon but before that you um we'll just say we have srg versus fanatic or sorry falcons ap brand all right and srg will be on the blue side so blah blah, blah it's time to draft blah, blah blah and there we go boom Okay, it's a little bit laggy with the fonts, but there we go. We have our draft starting up, our first ban. Let's see what what will we ban here? Let's ban her, because why not? And yep, you can see that it's going quite well. Alright, next is our red ban. It's gonna be Fanny. And our blue ban, let's ban something like Terry's Love, because why not? And let's just ban later. This is just for example. Alright. So um SRG's first pick. We'll just leave it in link for now and then let's test uh, if the timer runs out. So right now we're on 17 seconds and it's still first pick for blue. They're thinking that they're going to pick link. Oh, maybe they're not going to pick link. They changed it last minute to high blue side and there we go. And we're just waiting for three more seconds. And there we go. Boom. High blue side is locked in. And then we have our next picks. We are going to be, I don't know, let's just say uh, cloud. And then Ruby, because uh, why not, right? Cloud and Ruby. All right. Then we have our next picks. Let's just say uh, Valentina. And mm, what is good here? Nah, that's not good. <laughs> okay. L let's just go with these. Okay. And then we have our last pick here. Let's just go something on the lines of Ling, because why not? And then boom. Our next ban, let's just say they ban red red is banning now. Let's say they run a marksman. Let's say um let's just ban Nathan, because it's a good solid ban. Why not? Why would you not want to ban Nathan, right? Then third ban. Mm, let's ban Minotaur. Why not? And their fourth pick, they're gonna need a mage. Let's go Novaria. And for our last two picks, let's go. Kufra, because Kufra is good, and we need a marksman. Let's go one one. Right. It's actually a solid draft, not gonna lie. <laughs> and uh, let's pick a Roma for for the AP brand. Diggy is available, and yep, just go with Diggy. Alright, and then after this, the players have the ability to swap. You can see that. Oh, our Roma is supposed to be here. We're gonna swap over there. We're gonna swap there. We swap there. Swap there. Yeah, they, they have their choice to swap. We can swap with red also. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. And we swap, blah, 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 blah. And eight seconds left. And it should all be over soon. And boom, the draft is done. And we could finish draft. Boom, the animations go away. And yep. So now let's take a look at um, how the software actually works here. Alright, so this is what I am controlling here. Um, I'm controlling it from OBS itself because it must be controlled from OBS. You cannot control it from an external. And 
when you control from OBS, you can just like add the stuff you say. I'm typing down in band one Fanny. And this is a, not a good example because it doesn't look that nice, but we can have a look at it from here on our web browser instead. And the system works first is you need to press the reload button like two or three times before this works or else you'll get the font that lags over here. So we just spam the reload and team control, you guys can pick any team you want. We'll just say um, we'll have our NA representatives, club time. And against the, let's just say TOB. Your higher brothers, because why not, right? Edit team names, we can swap them. Since Cloud9 is on blue side, we can swap them. Just click swap, and you have to trust that it will swap. Of course, there's more features of this will be implemented into the future. And then when we do click animate, you can see that it has started right now. Okay, the swap team is not working. I'll get, <laughs> I'll fix that soon. But yeah, you can see that Cloud9 TOB. And we have our first band here. Let's just go with the stuff that I already have here. And yep. We can see that once we type in a hero, it will change. And there we go. There is a small delay because of typing. Typing takes some time. Of course, there will be a system implemented where you don't have to type. We just click on the hero and it will be activated for you. Because like, I have tested it with Valentina because you know when you type in Valentina, you type in Veil first. But if you type it in very fast, you automatically get Valentina. So. Um, that's why I want to implement the system where you just um, you just type it down or you just click on the name and then it will work and you can see that I have messed up a pick right here um, yeah I messed up a pick uh, that box shouldn't be closed after this the box the edit boxes should be open so like they're gonna swap blah 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 here I can edit the box now this should be opened up a little bit earlier not gonna lie but uh, it was supposed to be S4, right? If I'm not mistaken, or is it S2? Uh, is it S2? Yeah, okay, there we go. We'll just say hi, those for the lols. <laughs> Why not, right? right? So there are some bug fixes that needs to be fixed, but this is the progress so far that I have invested into. And then when we click on finish draft here, the animation fly out should do its job. Thing is, if you use this program properly, how it's supposed to be used, then you will run into no problems at all. And of course, by default, we just have blue and red, and this can be switched over by up here, SRG and Todak, let's just say. And we edit the team names, there we go. And if you're just gonna swap them, we can swap them manually as well, like that. I'm planning to delete the swap team names because um, there's no point of keeping it anyways. And of course, um, you can just switch them just like this and then just edit the team names from there yeah. and you can see that band 2 they didn't ban anything so it's automatically skipped over to this side all right all you have to do is just type in on your keyboard press enter and you switch to the mouse when it's time to swap so there we go you just switch on your t keyboard when it's time to swap you can also swap the with the other team um let me just show you terrorist law and then We'll just pick Kalita, okay. So you can also swap the other team. This is made intentional, just in case if you do mess up an input and you need to swap it just like that. This is made intentionally just like this, but it could be fixed at any time. I could just set a new class for swap. Have this side have swap one, this side have swap two. All right, let's jump into the code of how this thing works. It's a little bit messy. Um. Let me just indent this real quick. Okay, so this is our style CSS. You can see this is all the animations that we're working on. There's a lot of animations because all of these have delays, in fact. And I know that there's an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I just implement it so that I can understand it myself. And then, uh, yeah, this is all for the classes, sponsors, success, delay. And then this is for the code. You can see that I only detects the hero names here in our hero names array. Um, yeah, according to the steps, all the animations here and then all the HTML, all the software displays down here, in fact, and the control panel is up here. All right. So I don't think there's any more much to be said right now, but you can do leave a comment below or do hit me up privately if you want to ask me more about this. All right. Bye-bye.